Hello everyone, today I'm here to share a story which I've had for a very, very long time, but I still love reading it and it's called Mr Noisy and it's by an author called Roger Hargreaves and he does lots and lots and lots of different books, which I also love, but uh, this is one of my favourites. Let's find out. Mr Noisy was a very, very noisy person indeed. For example, if Mr Noidy, Noisy was reading this story to you, he'd be shouting at the top of his voice. And the top of Mr Noisy's voice is a very loud place indeed. You can hear it a hundred miles away. For example, when most people sneeze, you can hear them in the next room. But... Tissue! When Mr Noisy sneezes, you can hear him in the next country. Oh my goodness, can you do a loud sneeze? Now, this story starts when Mr Noisy was asleep. In bed, in his bedroom, in his house, which is on top of a hill. He was snoring and as you can well imagine when Mr Noisy snores that that is a snore worth hearing. It sounds more like a herd of elephants than a snore. What do you think Mr Noisy's snore is like? Do you think it might be like this? I bet you can do a loud snore. Then Mr Noisy's alarm clock went off. And Mr Noisy's alarm clock sounds like no other alarm clock in the world. It sounds more like a fire engine. Mr Noisy woke up and so did all the people who lived in Wobble Town, which is at the bottom of Mr Noisy's hill. Later that day, Mr Noisy decided that he had to go shopping. He went out of his house, shutting the door behind him. Bang! The door wobbled, the house wobbled, the whole hill wobbled, Wobble Town wobbled, even a bird flying high above wobbled. Oh my goodness! Then Mr Noisy clumped down the hill. Clump, clump, clump. He walked into the baker's shop. Crash went the door as he opened it. Bang went the door as he shut it. I like a loaf of bread, boomed Mr Noisy to Mrs Crumb, the baker's wife. Mrs Crumb trembled and sold him a loaf. Then Mr Noisy walked along the street to the butcher. And how did he yell? He went clump, clump, clump. He walked into the butcher's shop. Crash went the door as he opened it. Bang! went the door as he shut it. I'd like a piece of meat, boomed Mr Noisy to Mr Bacon the butcher. <gasps> Mr Bacon trembled and sold him some meat. Afterwards, Mrs Crumb and Mr Bacon met in the street. Well, we really must do something about Mr Noisy being so noisy, she said. Absolutely, replied Mr Bacon, but what? I know, said Mrs Crumb, and she whispered into Mr Bacon's ear. Mr Bacon smiled a small smile, which grew into a broad grin. Everybody show me your smiles. Mrs Crumb, he said, I think I have an idea. I wonder what it is. Can you have a think? I think of an idea. The following day, Mr Noisy again went shopping down to Wobble Town. Clump, clump, clump. He went into Mrs Crumb's shop. I like a loaf of bread, he boomed. Sorry, what did you say? asked Mrs Crumb, pretending not to hear. I like a loaf of bread, Mr Noisy shouted. Sorry, said Mrs Crumb, putting her hand to her ear. Can you speak up, please? I'd like a loaf of bread, roared Mr Noisy. 
can't hear you, said Mrs. Crumb. So Mr. Noisy gave up and went out. Oh dear, look at his face. Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I like a piece of meat, he boomed. Mr. Bacon pretended not to notice. I like a piece of meat, Mr. Noisy shouted. Did you say something, said Mr. Bacon. I said I like a piece of meat, roared Mr. Noisy. Pardon, said Mr. Bacon. Mr. Noisy came up and went out and went home and went to bed hungry. The day after Mr. Noisy tried again, he went into Mrs. Crumb's shop. I like a loaf of bread, he boomed. A what? asked Mr. Crumb. Mr. Noisy started shouting at the very top of his voice, a loaf of... And then he stopped and then he thought and then he said quietly, I'd like a loaf of bread, please, Mrs. Crumb. Mrs. Crumb smiled. Certainly, she said. She looks happy with herself. And then Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I like a piece of meat, he boomed. Did you say something, said Mr. Bacon? Yes, I did, shouted Mr. Noisy at the very top of his voice. I said, and then he stopped, and then he thought, and then he said quietly, I like a piece of meat, please, Mr. Bacon. And Mr. Bacon smiled. My pleasure, he said. The plan is working. And so, carrying his bread and his meat, Mr. Noisy set off home up the hill. Clump, clump, clump. And then he stopped. And then he thought. And then, you know what he did? He tiptoed. A tiptoe is something noisy, Mr. Noisy had never tried before. It was fun. I wonder if you can do tiptoes. And Mr. Noisy arrived at his front door. He put out his hand to open the door. And then he stopped and then he thought. And then he opened the door very quietly. He stepped inside and he shut the door very gently. Quietly and gently were two things Mr. Noisy had never tried before. And that was fun too. And you know something? From now, uh, from then until now, Mr. Noisy isn't anything like as noisy as he used to be. And you know something else? The people of Wobbletown are delighted. Especially Mrs. Crumb and Mr. Bacon. And do you know something else? Mr. Noisy.